Hey there, welcome back to Bishop's Garage. I'm Bishop. Uh, this is my garage. My yard is my garage. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of old vehicles around here uh, that I do little projects on, kind of bring you along. Hopefully something uh, along those ways will help you with your own work. But today, yeah, something modern. Um, borrowing this from my folks, and I noticed that the LCD panel inside of this uh, 2010 Prius was shattered on one half, and so none of the buttons work. And if I need this for me and the kids temporarily, uh, that has to work. So why don't I take you along on a modern fix, and we'll replace the touch screen inside this Prius as we listen to a fire engine go by. Okay, here we have a 2010 Toyota Prius, and you can probably see it. The screen is just shattered. You can see it on the inside, it looks all scratchy. So what we're gonna do today, um, because this whole head unit is like two or three grand used, you can also get some that are uh, slightly dinged up for maybe five or 600 bucks on eBay. But I did the right thing, and I just bought a new LCD screen portion for 60 bucks off of eBay. I'll put the link below. You can see that. And um, I'm going to step you through on how to replace this. For starters, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, this is going to be tough because the buttons hardly work. We're just going to try to say eject all. There we go. All right. So at least we got it out. So once this is out, turn your Prius off, and then I'll show you what your next steps are. Uh, quickly, it's actually going to be removing these two screws, which are just a Phillips. There's going to be a small little uh, tab-driven uh, kind of connector. It's a, a ribbon connector down here that we will pull out. And then this just comes all out. So I'll show you how that works. Okay, we're looking at the side of it here. There's our Phillips we need to take off. And I see I'm going to need a finer tip. Two weeks later. All right, there's one of those. I would suggest don't lose those. You can kind of see the end of the pin there, the little brass end, just has a lip. There's no spring. I guess the video that I saw on the internet showed a spring. That must be a later model. So this is a 2010 we're working with here. Alright, so we've undone both of those. You can see our screen is free now. Alright, so there's our ribbon. We just gave it a little bit of a pull. Well, it just uh, popped out pretty easily actually. You can see the slot 
that it sits in right there. Where you insert the connector, there's a couple of different styles that they do this. Luckily, I have the kind that just slides in and out. It's just held in with pin pressure. But there's another style that has a thin length of plastic attached to the back of the connector itself. And that you need to pry up slightly either with a finger if you can get that in there, which in this case, yeah, you'd have to have tiny fingers. Or uh, you can get a small screwdriver in there to pull this up. Uh, let me show you a brief little video. Yeah, here we go. Um, you can see right here uh, this small little gray piece that's attached to the white plastic piece that's part of the holder. You can see, yep, it gets flipped up and that locks that ribbon in place. So when we go to reinstall this, we're just gonna make sure we take the new ribbon, looks like that, we will slide it into that slot. All right, so uh, part two, let's go inside. Wow, that's some spooky lighting. Let's go inside and uh, take this apart and I'll show you how to fix the, uh, the screen. Okay, so we have our screen unit out of our Prius. You can see these are the, uh, oh, here they are. These are the screws with a little ridge that we undid. And then we just simply pried it off a little bit from the arm and then it just came free. Here's our little ribbon cable that we gently pulled out. And so now let's get to disassembling this and putting our new screen in. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna mark these two screws here as a do not touch. The rest of these we'll be taking apart and I'll show you how that works. All right, so down below, I'll go ahead and put the link to the new one that uh, I ordered. So I recall it was about $65 off of Amazon. Here's what the box looks like. Comes with a new wrapped up screen. Check it, make sure it's not cracked. There's the connector we're gonna be looking for on the inside. Yep, all right, so let's uh, do some more. All right, so here <clears throat> on this side are two more that we're going to need to remove. So your guess is as good as mine. Now I think these are the tabs we're supposed to push in to get it to open. Ah, okay. We have some tabs along the back here to do the same with.
this just opens up. Oh, there we go. Okay. There's the inside, there's our motherboard. Here's the connection we're looking at. Right there. That's the one for the LED screen. That's the one we're going to want to pop. Here. Yeah, there's a name for this little plastic piece. It kind of is a keeps it from separating, so you'll have to pull up slightly on that to pull that apart. All right, let's stick that aside now. Now what I'm thinking, because this is the part that's missing in the instructions, I'm going to have to take the motherboard off here. So that's one, two, three, four screws. Disconnect this too here. Wiggle that back and forth. All right. Right, so it looks like over here we have a some tape holding us up. So it looks like we have another connector to remove over here. Okay. Film. Let's make sure we put that back where it goes. Um, oh, okay, it looks like we have yet another connector over here to pull off. off we can just fold that back okay well it looks like we've got six screws here three on each side that we need to remove for this part Okay, so now, it looks like, okay. All right, so now we are down to our screen, which looks like, yep, it just pops out like that. No. Let's see, it's got a protector on here. OK, 
it's it slips over a pin up here and there's our old broken screen all right our new screen Okay, now this has to go back together the same way. Okay, that portion. Let's put our screen edge protector back in. I'm just making up names as I go. Slip it over that little tab right there. All right, next. Let's get our motherboard assembly back in. Put our four screws back in here. Again, this is a 2010 to 2012 pre this applies to. It may apply to one that's a year or two older or newer. Your mileage may vary. Do your research. that goes in here. Go ahead and put our motherboard screws back in.
All right, that looks good so far. All right, so now we put this back on. Four, but there we go, that's clipped back on. All right. Yep, don't see any cracking this time. Okay, so now we're back to putting this back on here. So that, that metal is as sharp as wow. Okay, so be careful doing this part. This, again, you will need to finesse back into its slot. Not the easiest thing to walk back and forth. Back into its slot. Walking it back and forth. In there, and we'll just make sure that little plastic trim is around on the outside. Just hold that connection in place. Snapping in the back. Snapping in the front. Yep, we're good. this out, that's going to be a problem. <clears throat>
we go. <laughs> Easy peasy. That's tucked in now. All right. <laughs> I'm just putting these two middle screws in first so I get decent alignment all the way around. I don't want to put all of one side in and then screw up the alignment, not be able to get all the screws in first. It's good to have one of these mats too. Lots of little pockets up here to hold all your screws and you can put them in order that you take them out. So it makes sure you put everything back the way it came. On either side of the frame that you see I have in my hand there, there's a small gray plastic pin and that pin fits into a little channel that's on either side of the opening that um, you'll see I have to turn the screen a little bit sideways to get that to slide in there. But that's kind of the hinge point of when the arms push out and that gives it the motion to be able to slide up and down. screen back. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to assume you can see that. All right, so we need to get the CDs ejected. That's how it, it's going to put these arms back out. Just eject all. Nope, I didn't have it quite up all the way. Well, that's gonna. There we go. Okay. Ooh. All right. So the arms are out. <laughs> so let's power this off now that the arms are out, and we'll put those clips back in. so you can see that. All right, so we snap those back in place. Looks solid. Looks solid on this side. better turn that CD off real quick. We don't need to... Well, oh, 
let's just turn that down so we don't run any YouTube copyright issues. Alright, there's another CD out. And another CD. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for hitting a, a uh, get rid of all. Alright, let's close. Go back to CD. No disc found, that's good. Let's see, load. And number four. Close this. All right, looks good. Let's uh, go to our stereo. We're just going to turn this down. Audio. Oh, yeah. Sound settings. Look at this. We can finally turn our bass up. Yeah. Woohoo! Bass up. Treble up. We can finally fix the balance of our speakers so the speakers aren't only playing on that side of the car. Oh. Looks good. General. Wow. All right, so we're in business. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Look at that. All right. We're in business. All right, well, thanks for coming along on Bishop's Garage again. Um, yep, so we've settled the issue with our uh, 2010 uh, Toyota Prius. Um, so we did something modern. We had fun with it. Uh, and I had seen a lot of instructions on the web on how to kind of do parts of this, but never anything from beginning to end. So hopefully this beginning to end will help you with only 70 or 80 bucks in parts and uh, well you saw it that was mostly real time so less than 30 minutes to do this fix uh, I think it's just a no-brainer all right well thanks for coming along again uh, click down below subscribe uh, hit the bell if you want to see when I throw new content up and thanks for coming along on this ride see you next time on Bishop's Garage <laughs>